Hey guys, Andy Black here and thanks for stopping by this video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a particular feature of my SE Raptor software that will help you um, uncover your competitors backlinks. So one of the best ways to build backlinks or to find the best backlink opportunities is by examining your top competitors, those websites or businesses that are ranking um, for the keywords that you want to rank for. So by replicating some of their backlink profile you will see better results with your own rankings. So as you can see here, this is a dashboard for my SE Raptor software. Um, this particular feature here, which is my personal favorite feature, um, is the Manage Reverse SEO campaign. So this is where it will have a look at your uh, competitors' backlinks and it will also tell you which ones are the do-follow backlinks. Now, you're not necessarily gonna be able to obtain a backlink from all of these same sites, but plenty of them and you know a lot of them you will be able to. So what I'm gonna do is sort of just give you a little demonstration of how this feature works, okay? And also, uh, there's a link in the description that will take you to an office. So if you would like to get access to this software, which will include all of these features here, in the blue, because this is a this is an upgrade, um, which doesn't cost much more, but the, the, there is an upsell um, where you can upgrade uh, to um, access the client finding feature. Okay, but that's gonna be covered in a different video. So all of these ones are the SEO related features to find different kinds of backlinks and citation opportunities. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this one. Um, but yeah, there's a link in the description if you wanted to check out um, all of the features, the sales video, and also pick up a discount. So um, I'm inside this feature now, reverse SEO campaigns, and as you can see here, I've already got some clients um, added here, okay? Um, you can select a geolocation, so depending on what country you're located in, or um, where you want to get backlinks from, then you can select that geolocation here. And then here you can run a, a number of keywords. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, I'm going to first of all I'm going to I'm going to um, add a client. So I'm going to go to the client management, okay, um, and let's just say for example um, I'm just going to type in um, electricians, okay. I'm just going to put a dummy website in here, um, electrician electricianboss.com. So I'm just making this up, but basically if I was building uh, links to one of my own websites. I would put the name of the website in here or whatever to give it a label I would then um, put my website URL in here or if it's a client I will put the client's name in here and then the client's website. So this is actually used um, for actually um, Checking the backlinks that you build so if there is a purpose for doing this But for now, I'm just going to show you how you can find sort of backlink opportunities So I'm just putting a dummy URL in here, then I'm gonna click add client, okay? So you can see it's successfully added. Now I'm gonna go back to this feature here, um, my reverse SEO campaigns, and just wait for this to load. Now if I select on here, we should see electricians, it's actually at the top and it was already selected. So electricians, um, I'm based in the UK, so I'm gonna select United Kingdom. And then what you can do here is you, you can perform um, a number of searches. So I'm just gonna type in um, electrician. So say if I'm wanting, wanting to um, like, let's say um, I'm wanting to rank for the keyword electricians uh, in Middlesbrough, which is a town uh, near me, okay? So I would put that keyword in and click search. Right, and it says here that it successfully created the campaign and it's in the queue. So the the on the back end on the server now that will be doing all of the processing and getting all the information that we need. But um, we can uh, you know go even further. There's a let's say I want to go a bit further afield, so I might put in Newcastle, electricians in Newcastle, okay, and then click search as well. You can see it's actually still completing that one. So I'll just have to give it a minute and then I'll submit another search. Okay, I'll just pause this video a second. All right, I'll just pause that for a minute. Um, I've un so I've unpaused it. So I'll click search on electricians in Newcastle, and hopefully, right, so it's added that now. So there's two campaigns there, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, just refresh this page. Um, and you can see here now that we've got electricians here and there's two searches, okay? Two searches being done. Uh, there's no pending um, 
results or complete results or links found because what we have to do now is go to um, competitors so we've got competitors and backlinks okay so what we want to do now is go to competitors and there's two searches in here so I'll click on the, the first one electricians in Middlesbrough and then click view and what you'll see here is uh, this is the top results okay this is the top results um, for this keyword okay electricians in Middlesbrough so if I want to rank for um, this particular keyword these are all the currently top ranked results now what I'm going to do here is analyze and try and find the some of the sources of where these competitors have got their backlinks and try and identify the ones which I do follow which is gonna um, be the best kind of links um, that we want to target because it will pass um, link juice so to speak and send a better signal to Google um, to um, help us increase our own rankings okay if we can also get a link from these sites as well so what we're gonna do here is um, we're going to look for actual electricians here so we can see here there's yell.com if you're familiar with yell it's like a directory we don't necessarily want to um, be replicating their backlinks because they're a directory same with checker trade uh, that's a website that um, businesses can kind of get um, authentic reviews from and it gives them a, a platform to find customers um, same with the best rated Yelp etc but if we look here Sans Electrics and we can see here the page title SNS Electric Electricians Stockton Electricians Middlesbrough so I'm going to click find backlinks on there so we've submitted that so the backend server is now going to be um, finding um, all of these backlinks where this particular company has got backlinks from okay uh, then we're going to go down here we've got Rosebury Electrical in ninth position um, Rosebury Electrical, Electricians Middlesbrough, so there's another one. So we'll click Find Backlinks. Um, and we'll just click one more, just for an example, Acklam Electrical. So Acklam's a part of Middlesbrough. It's like a suburb in Middlesbrough. So um, Reliable Electrical Contractors in Middlesbrough. So we can see they're an a, a, actual electrician company as well. So I'm going to click Find Backlinks there. Right. So what we do here, it's already processing. Again, um, I have this built in just so it doesn't create a huge bottleneck because if some users logged in and they literally just you know clicked on hundreds and hundreds it would it would create a bottleneck and we I don't want any particular users to log in and then have to wait like one hour before they can submit the campaign so it allows you to um, basically do so many if I click that so what I'll do is I'll just I'll pause it for a minute I'll just submit this last one and then there's three being processed and then we will go to the next stage okay right Right, okay, so that's done. Um, literally, it was only about 20, 30 seconds afterwards. So we've got three submitted there, okay? Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click the Go Back button. Obviously, we can click on as many of these as we want. Obviously, we just have to let them process. We can do a handful at a time, and it usually takes a minute or two um, to do a handful. But you can go through and literally select, if you want, all of these electrical companies. So then um, it's going to basically go and explore where all of these uh, different businesses I've got I've got links from okay so we're gonna go back here now and click uh, go back and it's just refreshing this table we can see here now there's a two searches done it's found two links so far it's completed 64 and is 30 pending okay um, so what I'm gonna do is we will just I'll just keep um, refreshing that and you can see now there's no pending 76 complete and there's five links found. Um, so what we're going to do then is we will click on the backlinks button. We'll just do this here, click there, backlinks. Um, and then what we've got here, we presented with a few options. So we've got the client there, which is um, the client tag that I created, electricians, with the dummy uh, website URL. Um, then select backlink status, okay, show all backlinks. Uh, show do follow only show no follow only show all results right so what we'll do all results is it even if it doesn't end up finding a, a backlink which is very rare but we'll leave it on show all backlinks for now um, select minimum domain authority we haven't um, uh, processed any domain you know we haven't clicked on any to find what the you know the Moz um, domain authority score is or the backlinks etc so we can leave that for now but once you've actually done that you can um, sort 
and you know display only the results where that's got most metrics etc um, and also you can favorite them i'll show you that in a minute so you can create favorites the the favorite um option can be used um however you want you could even use it if you've actually submitted a backlink to them you can click and mark it as a favorite so it's however you want to use that particular feature okay but it's just a way of marking different results to keep note of them so what we're going to do here is now click view and you can see here um so there's 12 entries so bear in mind it was only the three um that i've clicked and you can see here um it tells you the domain where it's found a backlink from um, it gives you the full URL where the backlink is. It tells you the page title, so it gives you a bit of an insight of what the page is. Is it really relevant to uh, the business? You know, this is Northeast Burglar Alarm and Security Company list. So this is um, obviously some kind of directory or something it's on, which means it's probably likely that you can um, get a backlink from there as well. You can submit your own business or your client's business. Uh, and it also tells us the backlink states as well. So you can see here from this site, it's a do follow. This one's do follow. This one's a no follow link. This one's do follow. So if you just want do follow um, then it's very easy to identify those and you can also narrow that down um, by just selecting that as well and do follow and just bring in the do follow ones but I'll just go back to all backlinks there okay um, you can click on the URL itself and it will open in a new um, a new thing so you can see here it is a directory so that particular uh, if I hover um, over here um, it will tell us competitor Acklam Electrical. So this is one of the, because we, we analyze the backlinks for three uh, different electricians, it tells us here when I hover over um, which which one it's for, uh, Acklam Electrical. Uh, that one's Acklam Electrical, Rosebury Electrical. So we can see what's what. So this one's Acklam Electrical. So if I scroll down somewhere on here, you will actually see um, that Acklam Electrical, at least when this page was crawled by Google, um, it, was on, it was on this particular URL here, okay? Um, so yeah, you'll be able to find here directory and I dare say submit your own and get a do follow backlink as well. If you want to find out um, the authority of this, you know, to see what kind of quality backlink you can get in terms of that, you can click on Moz Data. Sometimes these are high, sometimes these are low. This one isn't, it's it's on the lower side, but it's not too bad. It's a domain authority 18. Anything from sort of 20 upwards is, is classed as a really worthy um, domain authority score to get a backlink from. Um, sure you that they've got 102 backlinks pointing to the, the, this particular site um, and they've got five equity backlinks as well okay so that's actually five unique um, sites so it, this is quite low in itself but it's a DA18 it's a free backlink I would imagine it's a do follow backlink so it's worth replicating that backlink for your own um, SEO profile as well okay but again there's other ones here nerve bounce um, Acclam electrical email format um, Sorry, it's no never bounce, not nerve bounce. Um, let's have a look. Middlesbrough directory, this might be one, but that's a no follow. Again, it's fine to build no follow backlinks because what, when you, when um, performing SEO tasks, you've got to think of the overall link profile, okay? It would be very unnatural if you just built, say, 200 do follow backlinks and, and there wasn't any no follow backlinks. So it's got to be natural. So the more natural your SEO, overall SEO profile looks, the more natural it will be to Google and they will... Um, respond to that by increasing and giving you a good ranking for your keywords okay so it's important to build some nofollow backlinks as well okay um, but there, here's another one construction so this is a, a directory as well construction directory do, do follow backlink we click on Moz there you can see this is better a, a domain authority score of 37 out of 100 these have got more backlinks so this is another good candidate so you get the idea and you can click on here as well just to um, you know display all of these you can see here the best rated this is a, a directory as well um, smart business directory Rosebury electrical so here's another directory that you can submit to do follow backlink um, Moz data and see domain 22 so this is basically just to illustrate how easy it is using SE Raptor on this one particular feature to reverse engineer your compet competitors' backlinks. And it's not just one competitor, it can be all of the competitors for any of your chosen keywords. So you can use this feature as much as you like. You could perform literally 100 keyword searches. You could, um, for every keyword, you can analyze the backlinks for you know, 20, 30 different um, competing businesses. So you can imagine the sites that you will find where you can get 
backlinks and do follow backlinks from that will help your business, your website or your client's website rank in Google. Again, there's a link in the description where you can get a special offer on my SE Raptor software. Um, and there is a, a, you know, a refund guarantee as well, but I'm pretty sure you'll be very pleased with the software. And also remember, there is many more back, uh, backlink finding features as well. You can find business directories, guest post opportunities, news and press release websites. There's even a blog comment in uh, feature as well, where you can find the best, most authoritative websites to uh, build blog comments, uh, interact, um, build um, authority and trust and also drive direct traffic through quality blog comments as well to your own websites which also helps with search engine rankings my name's andy black thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the inside